All right, Triple J here with Buddy Automotive Innovations here to show you what's new in BidBuddy version 7.0 being released this week. And we're going to launch BidBuddy right here. I want you to know right off the bat that the picture processing from the auctions has been completely changed so that pictures will load simultaneously with the vehicle itself. So pictures will never hold up your car from loading again. We're going to go ahead and load a new auction here. We're going to go to North Hollywood, California. And we're going to see two new columns right away. We've got a rerun for sale count and a rerun lot number count. So what this is telling me is this first car we found in our apps database three different times being sold by two different people. So these are great little indicators. This 1-1 one -one means that this is the first time this car has been sold from our, that we've seen in our apps database, and it's only got one seller. So if I go ahead and sort by the lot number count, so this top car here, has been found with four different sellers on it. Okay, but I'm gonna go to and show you this Mercedes E Class as a great example. So we found this VIN number for sale seven different times in our database among three different sellers. I could actually right click on this, go to View Global Rerun Listing from Apps, and right away we can see all these different information. Anytime you see a yellow or red means the data changed from the previous line. So our lot number changed here, here, and here. So that's how we got our three. And we can see it went from IAA, started in uh, TRA, went to Copart, and now is at IAA. The IAA sale here is in two days. Negative two means two days in the future. The last time it was sold was 174 days ago. And I can actually, in most cases, click on view pictures and see when Copart sold this car. Car was missing, you know, looks like a right front door, missing the engine compartment pretty much. And now magically, if I look at the IA pictures, we've got a hood, we've got an engine, we've got a passenger door. So a little bit uh, going on with this car here. So those are great indicators for you to check on what's going on with the vehicle, give you some more information or buying power to see exactly what you're getting yourself into. Another great example here would be, uh, we're gonna sort by this way, and we're gonna look at this uh, Porsche Cayenne right here. I'm gonna, so we had 13 different times it's been for sale from three different sellers. I'm gonna say this is, uh, this is stayed at IAA, and it stayed at IAA, uh, North Hollywood, California. Well, there's some gaps in the days. Uh, whenever it's more than seven days, or not seven days between sales, it'll give you a yellow indication there. But we, our, run number, our lot number changed twice, so that's three different times it's been for sale. And um, if we look at the pictures on this one, we can see uh, right now for sale looks like a pretty whole car pretty much everything's there but if i were to go back to the original for sale date we can see we're missing some front uh front end parts on it so this car has been attempted to be repaired as well so that's the great the biggest new feature that's going on inside of version 7 is the global reruns we also have new uh data fields in the bid buddy as well from the auction. If I go to the vehicle details tab here, there are new tabs, new fields from Copart and IAA from different fields that came from their website. And we'll work on getting some more of these in the future, but we've got a few of them in there. We've also fixed the dreaded column reordering issue. Uh, if you've ever tried to reorder these columns, put them in a different order and close the car and go to the next car, it doesn't always come back quite the same way. They should be fixed now. I can't believe it took a long to fix it. I apologize, but we're looking good now. Another great new feature is URG Cores. It has a little more detail now, and we're actually going to be working on more of this in the future. So I can go into my third-party integration settings, go to the URG Cores tab, and first of all, when we, if you're a URG Cores member, you may have noticed in the past that it took about 10 minutes to process your cores on occasion. And now it'll be about 10 seconds. So we've uh, drastically increased the speed during the IMS download. But now you also get the detailed information in BidBuddy as well. So I can look at uh, all these partners. And let's say I don't sell to a particular partner for whatever reason. I can right click on them and say add to the ignore list. And now it will not import their prices as the top price into BidBuddy. There we go. So. That is a nice new little feature as well. And that was the, uh, we also noticed down here we have a brand new 
uh, drive line type, all wheel drive, it'll say all wheel drive, front wheel drive, four wheel drive. So you don't have to, you can check that out without even going to the VIN tab anymore. All right, and for one last new feature inside of BidBuddy version seven is search the apps database. So I can now go to search for a vehicle and by default, it'll search only my vehicles on my BidBuddy instance. But let's say I wanna look for a car. So I can search all the apps auction listings. And let's say I'm looking for a particular body style. Let's see, it's my 2015 GMC Yukon. I can hit search for vehicles. This is reaching out to our apps database to see every time we've seen that particular body style Yukon listed at auction. We can actually see all the times it's, it's for sale right now. All these negative numbers means it's a car that's for sale right now at an upcoming auction. Zero means it's on sale today. And of course the positive numbers are and what's going on in the past. And this will show you, I believe it shows you 60 days when you do a body style search and it will show you 90 days if you do a specific year make model search. I'll go back 90 days on this one here. So if you're looking for a particular vehicle or trying to find a stock number or whatever, you can actually search our database now to try and help you find those cars a little bit better. So those are the new features in BidBuddy version seven and we'll be rolling those out right now. We appreciate your business and have a great day.